Hey everyone. Well, tonight we have a fun little update. I'm letting the new chicks out into the yard a little bit. We've got the rest of the crew kind of already out here. But they've been getting to know each other for quite some time now. And they're big enough now that uh, we can run with the other guys. And we've got P here curious. But, uh, yeah, this is their first exposure to grass and green things. So we're kind of excited. So, yeah, this is... <laughs> this is a first for this. Yeah. Everybody seems to be doing okay. P, now you be nice now. I know you think that you're a head hen, but uh, you know, we're going to be nice, okay? And so these guys have been in here, oh, these guys are about three months old now, roughly. And so they've been in here, um, you know, in the pen here. And of course, around the pen, the other girls can kind of come up and kind of meet them. So they've kind of been introducing themselves to my other flock, you know, all this time, and so tonight I thought I'd let everybody out to enjoy the big outdoors. You know, I've got a lot of yard here, a lot of land, a lot of chickens. Uh, with the roosters I have out here and the roosters that I know I have here, I have a total of nine roosters now. It's going to be kind of funny to see who's going to end up being the top rooster. These two here are roosters. This one here. And then this one right back there. That's Frankenstein. This is Dracula. And then these two guys here. These um, buff coat, not, not coaches, but pol polishes are also roosters. That's, uh, that's Freddie and Brian May. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, welcome to the backyard, gang. Look at this. Now, P, hey, no, no, no. You stay back just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Just going to stand out here and make sure everybody plays nice. Okay, honey, that's plastic. That's not for eating. I do not know how this got out here. Could have blown in from anywhere. Yes! I heard that attempt at a crow. And so they're kind of coming out. Yeah, we got a couple of them out already. And so this is Dracula here. The little hen that's with him is Morticia. All of these girls and guys have gothic or witchy names. Because uh, I'm into that, so so they have gothic and witchy names. So we have, let's see, I'm trying to think of the names that we have. I have my sheet inside. I'm gonna have to uh, to get it out. Okay, these black girls, like this, like these guys here, in here, in here. These are Australorps. Uh, they're pretty much the Aust the Australian take on the Orpington. These are Orpingtons. These are Buff Orpingtons. So these are Australorps. So these are pretty much black Orpingtons. Um, this here is the little Tollbunt that I told you about a while ago. Um, she's turning out to be really pretty. And then these guys here, this one here, this one here. Um, oh look, we have a meet and greet. Look at this. Everybody's getting along. Okay, P, you be good. You be a good girl. Ah, uh -uh. okay. Yeah, well, this is the pecking order taking place now. P, come on. Come on. Why don't you go to your side of the yard? There's plenty of room for everybody. Let's go. Let's go. Good girl. Okay, as I was saying, like this, this one here, this is a golden lace. You've got one here and one, oops, there. And there's one back here, kind of like the brownish, goldy type collars. 
These are Easter Eggers, and the reason they're called Easter Eggers is because they lay eggs anywhere from a pink to a blue to a green. Um, so they lay eggs that are different colors, and each hen will lay a, a, a different colored egg, and it'll be the color that she'll lay. Um, and so they're known by different names. Their, their nickname is the Easter Egger, but they're sometimes called or mistaken to be Americanas, but they're not. They're related to them, but they're not specifically Americanas, but they do have the gene to lay blue eggs. And so you'll get blue and green, pink, um, like a slate color, gray, white. Mm. <laughs> we got people, we got guys over here trying to work it out, huh? So, so yeah, so this is when we start getting the flock to act as one. And these buff chickens here, like this one here, this one here, that one, this one back here, these are buff laced polishes. And so they're like the white crested polish right here. Um, same, same, same breed polish, but they're just a different collar. So, and this guy here, let's see, that's Brian May. This guy here is Freddie Mercury. No P. I want you go on your side of the yard. Come on. <laughs> Got Miss P here. She's head hen, so she feels everybody has to bow to her. Two out here, I gotta keep an eye on them. But uh, these Polish guys are named after the band members of Queen. So we have Freddie Mercury, Brian May, Roger Taylor, and Deakey, which is John Deacon, but it, the band called him Deakey. He's back there. He's back here playing with the white crystal Polish there. So, yeah, so within probably a couple weeks. I will have one big flock out here. Everybody getting along and be like the rainbow world of chicken land, just chickens of all colors. So this is their first taste of grass. This is the first that they've ever tasted grass. And by the looks of it, they're loving it. So. So these guys, see these black ones here are Osterlorps again. I know people are going to be asking me what breeds. This is an Osterlorp. This is an Easter Egger. This is a male. It's Dracula. Uh, Frankenstein is also an Easter Egger. There's Frankenstein right there. That's my other rooster. And this one here and this one here are also roosters. So I have, I have four roosters in this bunch. So one, two three and four and then I already have three out here so that gives me what seven roosters mm, hey Athena yeah these bantam chickens are actually right about the size of these guys and these guys are pretty much half grown Athena yeah you recognize a white crystal polish there let's see I think this, this is Aphrodite you can see that's Aphrodite and this one's Artemis. This is Athena. All the Polishes have begins with A's. They're all named after the Greek goddesses. You gonna come join the pecking party? Yeah. He says, who are you? <laughs> Athena, you're you're smaller than he is. Come on, Freddy. Yeah. It's okay. It's all good. We got plenty of grass for everybody. Just hope that these guys go to bed tonight in their coop, otherwise I'm gonna be pee. having fun playing pick up chickens. Yeah, that's gonna be exciting. So now I get to uh, watch the flock mingle. So as long as my battery holds out, I'll keep you all with me. And um, once it uh, once it dies, I'm gonna have to go inside. But uh, yeah, what's that? <laughs> Somebody over here is trying to crow. Is that an excuse for a crow? What is that? Huh? Yeah, the the female polishes kind of have a mound 
after their feathers for their crest feathers and the guys just they just look like they're having a bad hair day but I absolutely love the Polishes they are probably my favorite breed so I have two different um, varieties now I have the white crested which is the ones with the white hats and I have the bush the buff lace so and then this guy here is He's just kind of a standout. Actually, it's it's a girl. She's kind of a standout. She doesn't really look like anybody. <laughs> this is the pecking order commencing. <laughs> so everybody's establishing their their place in the flock. I've got to keep my white polishes straight now because I have two that live over there over there in the Banta Boutique. I've got two quite crisp Polishes that live over there. And these guys over here are not the two. So this one, this is Apollo. She lives over there. And I do not know where Athena went. So this is going to be kind of interesting. Hey, 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 hey. Stop eating the blueberries. Hey, girls. No. <laughs> No, this is a chicken going berry picking. No, come on. Don't make me, don't, don't make me get my water gun. Come on, let's go, Enigma. Enigma. I'll get the super soaker. You take, you take your girls elsewhere. Come on. Okay, so this is Rory. He's coming over to check out the new guys. So this is Rory here. Oh. <laughs> yep. Everybody's going to fly now. Yeah. I have wings. Look what I can do. Got these roosters over here. Yeah, that's Devros. He's the man. He is the Alpha Roo. He's gonna come over here and assert his dominance, which I'm gonna have to watch. <laughs> and there's Athena heading for high water, <laughs> heading for high ground. She says, yikes. <laughs> yeah, the white crested Polishes are kind of known to get into trouble. No, Devros, no. I'm going to get my little pole here to kind of keep the other roosters at a distance for now. While these guys are getting used to the yard. So yeah, this is the big outdoor yard you guys have been looking at for the longest time. All right? Whoop. Somebody came flying out. Who was that? P? No, no, no. Come on. Go back to your end of the yard. Come on. Good girl. Okay, that is Athena. Okay, so she lives over there. Okay. Look at all these white crested polishes that are the same age or same size, and of course they look identical, and I gotta keep straight who lives where. So, so far, they're not venturing too far away from their coop. P, come on. Don't you go to your side of the yard? No. No. Hey, P, that's the wrong way, P. There we go. Hey, Athena. How are you? Oh, and people have asked what this is. This plant growing along my, uh, my border here. This is mint. I put this in teas and uh, other things. So this is my mint. It's just regular mint. I have chocolate mint um, in my garden underneath my window, so I put that on my smoothies. This mint is kind of strong. It does better if you boil it, like in a tea, like in, in an iced tea where you put the tea on the stove and you boil it with the tea bag and the mint and then you drink it like when it's cool. <laughs> Um, and then used for hot tea. This is also good. Um, 
I, I also will put this in hot cocoa during the winter time. So when I make hot cocoa, like I make it from scratch, I don't buy the packet stuff. I make it from scratch using cocoa and uh, milk and um, a cane sugar. And I'll put this in there um, because it does better if it, if, because it's kind of strong. So you kind of need to boil it to <laughs> keep it from being so strong. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, are they, are they venturing this way? Yeah, there they are. Oh, look, somebody laid an egg in the wheelbarrow. I bet you this is a Polish egg. <clears throat> oh, yep, that's a Polish egg. <clears throat> That's from a Polish. That was probably Athena who did that. She likes to go lay eggs in the uh, in the wheelbarrow. Yeah, she likes to think outside the nesting box, which is fine. Yeah, you, know, you girls can't go back there right now. If you go back there, I'll never get you back. Yeah, I've got that. Uh, I've got this little access to the outdoor pen blocked off right now. Yeah, if you guys go back there, I'll never, I'll never catch every, every one of you. So, why don't we just stay out here? I'm gonna go put my egg in the nesting box in here. Everybody be good for just a minute, okay? Nothing like leaving 53-year-olds to themselves. Okay. So I'm gonna put, get my little egg here. I'm just gonna stick it here in the nesting boxes up here. Oh, and look what I did today. I got this little table. I painted it. My mom gave it to me and I just kind of turned it into a little window garden here for the girls. Um, these are a lot of the spices and stuff that I can use in their coop and so on and so forth. Okay. Okay, Miss Ladybug. Let me go to your side of the yard, sweetheart. No, that's not, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Let's go. Come on. Come on. No, your side of the yard. There we go. Whew. So we've got the Tardis and Banjo Boutique crew kind of hanging to this side of the yard. I mean, we got enough yard here to to house everybody, so we have no shortage of space. Got my garden planted, and it's starting to starting to grow. The girls and I are looking forward to some fresh tomatoes. Now you guys can't go back there right now. The whole yard what do they want to do they want to go back there underneath the tree if they do i'll probably never find them hey dracula this is the rooster that started to crow this is the one that has the that was enigma but this is the rooster that has the kind of funny sounding crow in the morning so hopefully he'll find his voice here before long and he'll sound like a rooster instead of a sick dog toy Let's see, who do we have over here? Okay, we got Aphrodite. I don't know if these guys are gonna be able to find their way back into the coop or not. I may have to pick up chickens this evening. Have to go pick up some chicks. That'll be a fun adventure. Finally got our grass cut. The grass guy came over and finally cut our grass. It needs weeding good now. Sneeze. Yeah, <coughs> oh, sorry. Just a season for pollen. Oh yeah. We got chicks over here too. Let's see. They're not out in their pen today. They're probably in here. 
Miss Donna and her brood. There we are. Hi, Donna. How goes it? So these guys are about, what, a week, a week and a half now. So they're starting to just starting to feather out. They're still really little. So sometimes she'll bring them out here into the pen. And usually in the morning she has them out there. Yeah, these are the two Polishes that live over here. This is Athena and Apollo. And the other two. Okay. Golden Girls and Enigma. Enigma, you need to take your girls to your side of the yard for tonight. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Nope. Let's go. Yeah. P, no. <laughs> I got this little Polish over here. No, nope, you can't. You can't go that way. Yeah, there's chicken wire there too. <laughs> Honey, you're gonna get yourself so stuck. Nope, you can't go that way either. Come on. Dude, do I have to come in there and rescue you? I'm gonna put you guys on hold here for just a minute. Come on. No. There, I got him. Who are you? You are Freddy. Freddy, say hi. Freddy, say hi. This is Freddy Mercury. This is my buff Polish rooster. Let's get your good side, Fred. Come on, bud. <laughs> There's our good side. Here we go. Freddy, there we go. There's a good picture. Yeah. All right, now that'll end up on my Facebook page or my blog, I should say. Oh, I need my pole. There it is. Sorry if this video action is starting to make everybody nauseous. I'm having to keep a bunch of chickens in line. Okay, Enigma, take your girls. Don't make me get the super soaker out. You'll be one white rooster. Come on. There we go. Here comes the rest of them. You're still getting used to my call. See, P knows to come when I make that sound, don't you? These guys are getting used to it. Okay, P, nope, you can't go in there. Okay. So we got the silkies back here. We got the phantom crew here, and we got the henworts crew here. And we got the clucker here. Mm, plus a Miss Ladybug underneath the uh, butterfly bush. a feeling these girls are wanting to get back in the coop they just don't know how to do it so why don't we so why don't we go get ourselves some chickens let's go this way okay come on let's go this way no we're just, we're just gonna go this way we're just gonna go this way I don't hit my chickens with this pole I just kind of use it to round them up here we go kind of like a shepherd staff nope Gotta keep going. Go around the door. Oops, I got away over there. There we go. They found it in. I gotta go get, go get this little girl. Come on. You, you can't you can't get to your coop that way. Come on. Let's go this way. There we go. There we go. Come on. There we go. Nope, you don't want to go that way, sweetheart.
<laughs> they are not used to this chicken wire. It is so funny. Okay. Well, the majority of them found it in. Anyway, as I predicted, my phone is going to die here very shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and bid everybody adieu. And of course, I'll be back with more fun backyard videos. So till then, uh, have a good night. Be kind to each other, and we'll see you later.